In the heart of South Texas, a colossal transformation is unfolding, one that will forever change the skyline of Corpus Christi and the future of American infrastructure. Rising from the waters of the bay is a bridge unlike any the state has ever seen. Taller than the Statue of Liberty, longer than any cable-stayed concrete span in the nation, and engineered to endure for nearly two centuries, it is one of the largest transportation infrastructure endeavors in the state's history. Replacing the aging bridge that has stood since the 1950s, this megaproject is redefining the city's skyline and promising to unlock the region's full economic and logistic potential. But it hasn't been an easy road. Years of delays, engineering challenges, and contractor changes have tested the project at every turn. Yet the vision remains clear. To create a safer, more efficient, and aesthetically iconic structure that will serve generations to come. As it nears completion after nearly a decade of setbacks, what lessons does it leave behind, and what future does it promise? Let's dive into the story of the Texas New Harbor Bridge. Before we start, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The original Harbor Bridge, completed in 1959, was once a proud monument of mid-20th century engineering. Designed as a steel through-arch bridge, it served the community well for decades, connecting the port of Corpus Christi to the city and facilitating vital commercial and commuter traffic. But as the decades passed, the bridge struggled to keep up with modern demands. It featured narrow lanes, lacked shoulders, and did not meet modern safety standards. Even more critically, its limited vertical clearance hindered the port's ability to accommodate newer, larger container ships, an economic bottleneck in a world where maritime trade is booming. In 2003, the Texas Department of Transportation launched a feasibility study to assess the aging bridge's future. By 2008, it was clear, replacement was not just an option, it was a necessity. Thus began the journey toward what would become one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in the state. From the start, the vision for the new bridge was grand. The selected design, a cable-stayed structure with concrete segmental spans, is not only functional but striking in appearance. The centerpiece of the bridge is its massive main span. At 1,661 feet long, it will be the longest of its kind in the United States. Towering pylons will rise to 538 feet above the water, making it the tallest structure in South Texas and an unmistakable feature of the Corpus Christi skyline. Designed by FigBridge engineers, the bridge promises to be more than just a utility. It's a statement, a civic icon designed to inspire pride. The bridge includes six lanes, three in each direction, with wide shoulders and a median barrier to improve safety. A shared use path for pedestrians and cyclists adds a community-friendly dimension, while nighttime LED lighting and public plazas at each end aim to make the bridge a social as well as a transportation centerpiece. The new Harbor Bridge project extends far beyond the bridge itself. The total effort spans more than six miles of highway, including the realignment of Highway 181, new interchanges, and improved connections to I-37 and SH-286. These upgrades are essential not only for easing congestion, but for ensuring the entire region can fully benefit from the bridge's enhanced capacity and clearance. The vertical clearance beneath the new bridge will reach 205 feet dramatically more than the existing 138 feet. This upgrade is crucial for the port of Corpus Christi, which is one of the largest in the nation by tonnage. The new clearance will allow for the next generation of post-Panamax ships to access the port without obstruction, opening the door for a significant expansion in trade. Construction of the bridge officially began in August 2016 with a projected cost of around $930 million and an initial completion target of 2020. The project was awarded to Flatiron Dragados, a joint venture that promised a bold and rapid transformation of the Bay's landscape. Early phases proceeded with optimism, and progress was evident in the rapid development of the bridge's approaches and foundations. 
There was a sense of excitement in Corpus Christi. Local businesses anticipated increased traffic, and port officials looked forward to accommodating larger ships. The community welcomed the aesthetic upgrades and new connectivity the project promised to bring. But the optimism would soon be tempered by a series of unforeseen complications. What began with promise quickly spiraled into a quagmire of technical and legal problems. In March 2018, tragedy struck in Florida when a pedestrian bridge designed by Fig Bridge engineers collapsed at Florida International University, killing six people. Though the designs of the two projects were different, the incident triggered a national review of Fig's work and raised serious safety concerns. In 2019, design was halted on work on the New Harbor Bridge's main span, and an independent engineering firm was brought in to assess the design's safety. The result was damning. Several significant structural concerns were identified. The developers demanded that FIG be removed from the project, a move that delayed construction and necessitated a comprehensive redesign of critical portions of the bridge. Further complications arose in 2021, when the new engineering team discovered more design flaws related to the bridge's delta frame, a crucial component in cable-stayed bridge structures. Once again, work had to be paused, and yet another round of assessments and revisions ensued. By this point, the completion date had been pushed back repeatedly, and the project's cost had ballooned to nearly $1.2 billion. After years of halted progress and public frustration, a breakthrough finally came in 2022. New engineering teams, working closely with the developers, revised and certified the structural designs, allowing construction on the main span to resume. With updated safety protocols and reinforced quality control, the team pressed forward. By late 2023, the iconic pylons began to rise over the bay, and the project was visibly reclaiming its momentum. By early 2025, the construction of the new Harbor Bridge had reached a monumental milestone, the completion of the main span connection. This moment, years in the making, marked a turning point for a project that had once seemed destined for failure. Towering pylons now rise 538 feet above Corpus Christi Bay, supporting a cable-stayed design that stretches across the water in an elegant arc of engineering precision. As of now, the bridge deck continues to extend outward from both ends while work accelerates on the connecting highway approaches and interchanges. Massive cranes dominate the skyline, and crews work day and night to meet the revised deadline. What was once a symbol of delay is now a display of relentless progress, inching closer to transforming Corpus Christi's future. The completed New Harbor Bridge will not just be a replacement for the past, it's a leap into the future. Designed with a projected lifespan of 170 years, the structure is built to endure far beyond the expectations of most modern bridges. The materials, design methods, and maintenance strategies all reflect a long-term vision rooted in sustainability and resilience. In a region vulnerable to hurricanes, the bridge is engineered to withstand extreme wind loads and seismic forces. Its elevated profile offers not only improved maritime access, but greater safety in the face of storm surge and rising sea levels. From a design standpoint, it represents the latest advances in cable-stayed construction, allowing for longer spans with fewer supports, ideal for minimizing impacts on bay navigation and the environment. If current projections hold, the new Harbor Bridge is set to open in June 2025. Once traffic is rerouted to the new structure, the demolition of the old bridge will begin, a poignant moment for longtime residents who have driven across it for decades. The new bridge's opening will be more than a civic event. It will be a turning point. It marks the culmination of nearly a decade of struggle, innovation, and perseverance. For the people of Corpus Christi and the surrounding region, it is the beginning of a new chapter, one marked by renewed connectivity, expanded opportunity, and a structure built not just for today, but for the distant tomorrows. In the coming decades, it will carry millions of vehicles, witness countless sunrises over the bay, 
and become woven into the everyday lives of the people who call South Texas home. But it will also stand as a monument to what's possible when vision is matched with determination. The road to the future, quite literally, runs through the heart of Corpus Christi, and it is paved by the towering grace of the New Harbor Bridge. What are your thoughts on this infrastructure project? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.